Welcome back, everybody. Kathy Arbor here. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. It's a beautiful day here, a little cool. And I've been working in the garden as <laughs> my typical spring thing I do. I'm a real avid gardener. Uh, so a lot of stuff I paint and uh, draw is nature at this time of year. Now we are going to be having a really, really bad frost tomorrow night. And my magnolias are out. So you know what happens when that frost hits. <laughs> yeah, so much for the magnolias. So I thought, well, I better get I had to cut one because the stem broke. So I thought it would be a great time to cut some flowers and uh, draw them. So this is one of the ones I have. This one's called Black Beauty. Very, very dark pink. Very, very dark. And the uh, inside kind of funny looking they're long it, now this is missing a petal but they have very long um petals and then whoop, there we go we'll have to draw it like that i guess and the leaves are just starting to come out so i thought we could draw these and there's a bud just starting to unfurl and there's one that not quite out. Uh, you can see it still has the fuzzy backing on it that they get. I thought that would be kind of a cool one to draw. So uh, if you want to uh, be drawing some of these, you could take a picture of that if you want. And uh, I can zoom in for you. So you can take a picture. And we'll be doing a drawing of these. So I'm going to put mine on the side here. So it'll be a different um, perspective that I'm seeing um, than what you would see. So oh, the petals are all falling off. So what I'm going to do this time, a little different. Actually, maybe I'll just put this here and I'll draw it on this, this side here. Or I'm going to actually paint this time. Instead of drawing it, we're going to paint a very loose watercolor. And then we're going to use some of our... Hi, everybody! Sorry, I had chat uh, the chat off my <laughs> screen. Hey, Dorothy! You love magnolias? Yeah, this is... Uh... One, oh, the Stellata, yeah. Mine just went over. It's finished now. It was beautiful. It lasted a really long time because we were fortunate enough to have a cool spring while it was open, but no frost. So it lasted almost a month, which is really unusual. Uh, I also have one of uh, the yellow ones. And it's called Elizabeth. And another that's called Sun Sprite, which is uh, yellow and pink. It's very pretty. So let me take you guys out just, well, I guess I could leave it like that. Um, you guys can see that. Okay. Bring this over a little bit. Now, this one's called um, Black Beauty. Now, the flowers have fallen, or the petals have fallen off, but they do have a, 
a lighter um, inside, which is kind of cool. So what I want to do, I know this is just scrapbook, or not scrapbook, but uh, sketching paper. So it's going to be a little different than what you would uh, get if you use watercolor paper. So let's get a piece of paper so we can test some colors. Um, it's almost a magenta, really. That's perfect. Look at that. How perfect is that? And that one is Bright Violet by Holbein. It's a perfect color. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to add water first. And I want quite a bit of water. And I'm going to make the shape I want. And then I'm going to add the color by just dabbing and letting the uh, paint do its thing. So you can add more or less. This bud is pretty dark, so I'm going to add quite a bit of this bright violet. And then again, I'm, this is the fair amount of water on here. This one kind of comes up. I'm not sure of the shapes, but we'll just see what we get. So this is very intuitive, very loose. And I've got green and brown in the, in this one. So I'm going to let it run. I know the top has got this shape. And we can either add more color or it's kind of nice to vary the value. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this green. This is um, Permanent Sap Green by Windsor Newton. And it's a perfect green for this. And I'm just going to put that in there because I see that leaf overlapping coming down like that and then there's this other leaf right in here that's quite pretty I'm gonna put that same color in you can change up some of the greens if you want you can make some darker areas or some lighter areas and even if this blends in that's pretty I like that and then we have some of that uh, let's see ochre color it kind of runs into the that green because it's that fuzzy part that you see on the petal. Hey Devin, good to see you. Thanks. Yeah, I was busy and then the internet is crazy again because they're working on it in my area. So you just have to do what you have to do. So I'm just mixing colors here. I'm not too worried. We'll get different shades in here. 
And then the stem is almost uh, dark. It's between a uh, burnt umber, but it does have a little bit of red in it. So we could put a little smidgen of red in there. Just to brown it up a little bit. And then I'm going to let things bleed. So we're just going to run it down here. And as I go, I'm going to add the different colors. So a little more brown. I'm going to add some green for the leaves. See, I'm not really uh, too worried about the shapes yet. This is very loose uh, way of, of doing these. So anyone can do these. A little bit of that in there. Hey, Carol, good to see you. Hope you guys in... Uh, Alberta are doing okay as far as those fires. Are you close to them at all or are they are you safe enough? Hopefully they are not too close to where they are. Uh, let's see what else. I'm gonna put I'm gonna just bring that down a little bit. Sop up some of that, maybe. Maybe even tuck some of that in there. Just to bring that color down into the stem. Why not? This is just a very intuitive way of doing a quick, not close here, but the wind is being bad and bringing the smoke south. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know if we'll get any of it here. They say it's supposed to, but it's hard to tell. Uh, a few areas near me were evacuated a couple weeks ago. My friend had to leave her home. Their field burnt, but the house was okay. Oh, that's good. Wow, that must have been really scary. Let's put a little bit more green in there. I'm going to go over top of this page here even. Why not? And maybe a little bit more in here. A little more pigment. Maybe a little more green in there. So it's very, very loose. Okay. Maybe even a little bit more of this color in here. Like that. Those funny bits here. So now let's dry that. So what I thought I would do today is uh, actually use some pen and ink again. Uh, oh yeah, um, with your allergies and that must be hard on you, Carol. You guys had a really uh, dry winter, um, I suppose, though, because I know it was above normal as far as the temperature for you. So that make everything really dry than normal. But you can smell it in the house. Oh, wow.
so it didn't go through. This paper is pretty good. It's just uh, doesn't really um, bleed like regular uh, watercolor paper. Thanks, Patricia. Now that's what I bought it as, but you go online, like where I bought it was a, what they call the $7 place. <laughs> Everything, trees, shrubs, perennials, hostas, lilies, peonies, roses, anything. It's all seven bucks. So when I moved to this place, I just bought a whole bunch of stuff, but you never know if the labeling is right. So I'm thinking it's that, but who knows? So I thought I'd better show you it before it's gone because Wednesday night we're getting a bad frost. It's going down to minus two. I hate it when it does that because I have to go cover all my hostas and I can't do anything about the flowering trees, but it's just the way it is. It's part of gardening. All right, so let's see what I would like to do. My inks. So I'm going to put this aside for time being. And yeah, it's, it happens. There's <laughs> nothing you can do about it. Um, let's see, I have nice Indian inks here. Uh, I could go into the browns for the yeah, I think I, I like the brown. So this one this just says brown. And I did buy some new pen nibs. And these are a steno. You can see that. And it's the what they call the pumpkin blue. <laughs> They're very flexible. Uh, I've been watching a lot of uh, different artists using different pens, nibs for this type of work. So I thought I'd give these a try. They weren't that um, expensive, so that was good. it open. They don't make it easy, do they? There. So these are supposed, the way they, um, worked was really nice. They got a, not, a lot of flex to them. So that's what they look like. So I thought I would give them a try. I don't have a whole lot of nibs, but you know, I might have to get the bigger. Yeah, 
I need a bigger nib. Let's see, where did I put those? I might not be using this. <laughs> Let's see. I didn't even think. Oh, wait a minute. So, oh God. Yep, it's got a bigger nib. Okay. We're in luck. This one's bigger. Hopefully. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. No, I don't think that's big enough. Uh-oh. Is that the biggest one? Maybe this one is. Nope, that's smaller. Maybe I need a special nib for this. Or handle. I don't know. Don't want to force it. But I don't think that's it. Darn! I have to get a different nib. I don't think I have one. Well, that just sucks. Darn. That means I can't use it. I have to go out and buy a handle? Hmm. Yep, I think I do. Oh, well, we'll use the old one. Darn, that that nip would have worked. I think I have another one somewhere, but that's like a needle in a haystack right here now. I'm not spending the time to look for it. <laughs> You're from Lake in Florida? I'm in Canada, Ontario. We're from all over the place. So I'm just going to use this one. And just going to dip it in. Hopefully. Maybe not. This might be too, uh, oh, no, there it goes. It just needs a little bit of help. Okay, so I'm just going to basically uh, draw the stem. With this ink. Doesn't I don't have to stick with the shape of the paint either. That's kind of the nice thing about this. So you can just uh, emphasize areas if you want. This is kind of a brownish color in here. And I'm, I want it loose looking. So I'm keeping my fingers at the end of the pen so I don't have as much control. I like that look when doing loose sketching. So I'm very uh, detail oriented. So this can be a real difficult thing for me to do. And this way kind of uh, gives me a 
limit of how much detail I can put in. Depending on your how much um, pressure you put on your brush or nib depends on how much ink comes out. I just kind of like the look of that. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe it off. Technology can be a wonderful thing. Um, get a piece of paper towel. Okay, uh, lid, lid. So I didn't put all of it in, but just a bit. And now let's put in a bit of the green. I think I'm gonna just use this grass green. See what it looks like. Might be too bright. I don't know. Let's see. If not, I can always add. A bit of uh, yellow. In a container of some sort. Um... Let's put some in here and some of this yellow. That's it. And we'll see what we get. A little bit lighter. Let's try it. All right, so got some oh, it's the only thing. Kind of need a deeper well or actually I guess I could use this. And I'll just sop it up. Hmm. Nope. Does not like. Why does it do that? Is it because it's an old nib? I don't know. I always have problems getting it going. This is why I wanted those other ones. It's crazy. Don't want to fight with this. This makes arting a little more irritating. Well, let's try a different, different nib. Is that one F isn't working right? Where did I put those other nibs? Q. 
Okay, we'll take... Well, we'll just use this. Has a nib on it. Hasn't been used, I don't think. Let's see. There we go. So you can just emphasize some of these. This is a leaf right here. I'm going to go outside the line just to give it a little bit more. You don't have to do all of it, just bits is kind of nice. I like the the look of just a bit of line work. Just, I don't know, it just kind of looks cool when you're doing an abstract. And you just add a little bit of line work with it. Now it's nicer if uh, when I get to use those other um, nibs, they give you a wider and thinner uh, line, which is nice. So then you get even more um, a textural look by the line width. And then we can um, see. Maybe let's put something out here, even just line work as far as the shape of the leaf. Doesn't have to have any color in it. That kind of looks cool too. Okay, so we'll wipe that off and let's do the magenta color now. We could go into purple or we got, uh, let's see, red and magenta. I think I'll go magenta with this. Let's see what it looks like first though. Okay, Devin. I love these inks. I like the fact that they're 
uh, waterproof when dry. So we can go Just a real pretty magnolia. This one. And I see lines in the body of it. Where the petals are all curled. Just being on the, not worrying about the uh, texture and it, all that. Just play with it and see what yours comes out to be like. It's fun. See a little bit of different colors in here. You could put all that in if you wanted to. There's a little bit of um, shadows too, but it all depends on how much you want to. I want to keep it fairly simple. I mind a bit of texture, but not a whole lot. Um, could even put a little bit of this red in here just to, just to bring in some of that down here. Maybe we'll make this into a bud. It's just starting to unfurl. And then maybe a little bit of I put these on before I spill them. A little bit of white maybe. Because they have little, little specks on there. You can see that all specks on their limbs. And you could use a pen or Posca or something to so we'll just put a few specks, hopefully. Sometimes uh, these aren't as, uh, yeah, this one's not going to be as good. I don't know if I have to maybe need some more shaking. I don't know. I do have the other pen white. I think that's a little better. So that's the Doc Martens pen white, and it's fairly opaque. Try some of that. Let's see some little dots. Maybe actually I think I'm gonna use this nibs too fine, so I'm gonna use the end of one of these.
and then I can just dab. Yeah. You could take a pin, depending on, you know, how fine you want it. Just dipping in a puddle. Okay, now that does have veining, you see veins in it, but well, I guess we could try it. Let's see, a little bit more of a texture. See, I'm getting a little bit more detailed again. That's, that's my thing. So I, I really love detail. So I tend to always get uh, hooked in. <laughs> well, if you guys are the same, certain things you prefer over others. Just give a little bit of detail. It doesn't have to be a lot. Just feel like it needs some here and there. Maybe one up here, a little bit more. And maybe he, this one. So it would be Uh, thanks, Devin. And then I'm just going to put this one over here for a minute. Now we can take the center. I'm just going to do this here. So this is the, um, I think I might just maybe just draw this one with uh, black ink maybe. Let's see. This is the center. So I'm going to just do the stem again. Like that. And Like this. This is just a quick sketch, so it's not meant to be perfect. Just have fun with it. It's not even going to look the same. Um, just practice. Kind of, it's kind of like contour drawing, really. So drawing the uh, shape of the outline. And then there's this little thing that comes like that. And then this is big. And then we have this 
very wavy. And then like this. So all these stamens like that. And then it kind of goes up in the center. It's not exact, but you get the gist of it. And then these waves of the petal like that. And then I do see some kind of veining in there. So I can put a little bit of that veining in the very lightly in the leaves here. Oh, a little bit over. Probably couldn't see what I'm doing here. Sorry, got carried away with my what I was watching. There. Um, we had a few little leaves sticking out here. I'm just going to put them in. Just like that. And like that. Okay. And then all I'm going to do is take my brush and let's see, let's some, take some of the, where did I put my magenta or the violet color? I just have it over. Hmm of this. Out of the way. And then what I'm going to do is just get some water down. Magenta, or not but magenta, um, what was it? Bright Violet by Holbein. And just put a light wash in there. it would be a little darker in the center maybe and then the darker on the inside and I'm not gonna matter that it bleeds you can always just wipe that up a little bit I want the darker in the bottom area anyways, maybe up in there too. Um, it is kind of, well, it's got kind of a pinky center or magenta center. It's got a little bit of um, green in it too, brown. But let's put the magenta and then I'm going to throw some green in there and that'll turn it, can turn it a little bit brown too because it's, Red and green, you'll get brown. Like that. A little bit darker green in the center. And maybe a, just a tad. Not much, like that, and a little bit of a 
that brown in there. Looks good. Yeah, isn't that magenta? I love magenta. There. So that's that. Just the open part. So you could go in and make more um, lines in the uh, leaves if you want. So I think it's kind of interesting just to play with the uh, looseness of it um, you could make all kinds of uh, different things like do a flower on its own not colored in but just um, the shape of it done in the in the magenta would be pretty too and that's the magnolia so very easy, very um, loose, but that's what I like to do in my sketchbooks uh, is just experiment different styles, different ways of, of drawing. Um, there's more black pen and watercolor. I do like that uh, sketch and then watercolor. Um, but yeah, just play. And that way you'll get to, to see what type of watercolor and ink you like. You have to play with it though, in order to, um, figure out what style you like. I really do like, um, this also is that spontaneous watercolor. Really enjoyed that. We'll have to try some more of that. But uh, yeah. So you, as you can see, you don't really need. A, a very expensive paper just to try watercolor. Um, so I like just to play. <laughs> so if I were doing something that I was going to give away to somebody or uh, I was going to frame, then I would probably uh, do it with a nice watercolor like arches or something like that, 100% um, watercolor or um, cotton but if I'm just practicing and experimenting then sketchbook paper is good for me these are all watercolors and sometimes I put color pencil in them some of them are just uh, this is just graphite were the birds that I did for was some kind of a 30 day challenge but yeah they're fun a little bit of uh, graphite with watercolor different ways of uh, putting a layout on your page for composition. These are fun too. This is uh, to basically a, um, your day or week or month uh, drawn out. I really like doing those. I have to do some more. And I like doing these, the letters. These were fun. So 
So I've got all kinds of stuff in here. Swatches, uh, drawings, experimenting. Yeah, that's my Coco, the dog. So best thing to do, get a sketchbook that you're not scared of making mistakes in. And then just there's another one of those days. This is for April. Um, the bunny. They just play. They're not all great. Uh, it's fun to go back and take a look at them. It's starting to fall apart. Yeah. So I hope you'll try yours. See what you can do with yours. And uh, did you do a tutorial of the pink lemonade? Yeah, I did. It was one of the Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Thanks, Joan. Yeah, that was a fun one. I really did like doing that one. But uh, yeah, it should be down there somewhere. Um, I don't remember what I labeled it, but it should be there. Yeah, this was, this, see, this book's taken me, although these are all stuff. Most of it stuff that I did online as streams. So from 22, I was at January till now. So I guess I should, um, today's the 16th. So 5, 16, 23. Exactly. <laughs> and you know what? Like I find if I have a really expensive art journal and I feel like doing something, I won't do it in that because I'm scared of messing it up. So for just, you know how sometimes you're sitting there and you just feel like doodling or doing something so you'll pick up a piece of scrap paper and doodle on it? That's what your scrapbook should be. <laughs> or not scrapbook, your sketchbook should be that you could just pick it up and doodle in it. So don't get a, a, a book that's too expensive and then you won't mind picking it up and just playing in it. All right, so this was a short one, but... Uh, let me know what you guys want to see. It gets hard to know <laughs> what to do every week. I could do some more um, landscapes if you want to do landscapes. Or if maybe you want to learn techniques or, I don't know, um, more flowers, individual flowers or birds. or Just leave a comment down below so I can... Uh, Write it down on my to-do list. So I'll let you guys go and you have a fantastic day. Hopefully the weather's cooperating for you and get outside and do some sketching. All right. Have a fantastic one, everyone. Bye for now.